defense just lights out tonight. What do you think of the effort, especially uh, establishing that with the honest scrimmage? Yeah, I mean, really, uh, the, the guys have been doing a really good job. We spent some time in the summertime uh, getting prepared for this week, knowing that it was going to be a short week. And uh, um, they just really they flipped it around on Sunday and, and came off the last week and really had a good week of practice. And, it didn't stop all the way up to the game and walked through. Trust me, we used every single uh, minute we had this week to get prepared. And, uh, from the beginning of the game all the way through, I mean, like, we saw about every single play action pass that we could have possibly saw too. So it wasn't just in the run game. Um, but overall, really proud of the way the defense played. Three touchdowns for Hank tonight. So what did you see out of him? Uh, same thing with what he did in practice this week. And that's really what it comes down to is just uh, you know, trusting the preparation, taking what the defense gives you when things are there, take it. If they're not, then we got to move on to the next play. And uh, just really proud of him for, you know, really the, the offense in general and, and him, him and Taylor and the way uh, they work together this week to help the team get better and obviously be able to come out here and uh, um, take care of the ball much better today and uh, put some points on the board. And obviously, there's still room to improve in certain areas on both sides of the ball and obviously on special teams. You guys had six sacks tonight. Uh, what did you say to those guys tonight that you maybe didn't see last week? Well, um, number one, uh, I think the, uh, the defensive line did a really good job. Uh, last week, we got some pressure on the quarterback and caused uh, you know a couple bad throws, some of them turned into uh, takeaways. And tonight, we were just able to land on the quarterback. When it comes to, to Hank, what have you seen about the support he's received from his teammates over the last week? And after that first touchdown, I mean, there, there, are, there are a dozen guys that went over and gave him a hug, and it felt like Maybe a burden was a little, a little you know, taken off his shoulders, I guess. I think it's just uh, everyone's happy. Everyone's happy for him, happy for the team. I think everyone's extremely happy for Latrell. Let's not forget Latrell hasn't played you know, a lot of football, but he's done a really good job behind the scenes, and he deserves it. He scored two touchdowns today. So um, what you saw there was just an indication of what was happening in practice throughout the week. We just got to keep building on that, finding ways to keep getting better. The rushing was better. Hank seemed to have more production. What did you think of the offensive line tonight? Yeah, I mean, uh, there's typically this defense does not give up very many rushing yards year in and year out. They're they're really good in the in, with a rush defense because of the multiple looks and the and the um, pressures and the, the different coverages that come with it. It's a uh, you know it's not an easy thing to handle on a regular week, let alone on a short week. And you know tip the hat to our offense coaches for being able to get our guys ready to go and identify things. We can uh, there's certainly areas we can get better in the execution. I felt like. We were identifying things and, and knew exactly what was going on in the front, so we just got to execute better. Tarlis gets a sack on the first play of the game. What kind of tone does that set for a game? Yeah, there's no question. I mean, it's always about being able to pressure and confuse the quarterback. That always helps, especially, you know, the amount of pass plays. Uh, again, there's a lot of uh, second man protection, two man routes, you know, trying to protect the quarterback and create space on the outside. And the guys did a good job helping uh, with the rush, and then obviously the the secondary fending a lot of those off. So some good and some bad on special teams, but that pump block and the touchdown there, how big was that? It was huge, obviously. Um, you know, the opportunity, the guys wanted to go for it. They wanted to, they wanted to run the block, and uh, they made the most of it. I believe it was Drew Simpson that blocked that thing. And uh, the funny part about it is I don't know how many, we probably had like three blocks in spring ball, too, and throughout camp has shown a uh, unique ability to do that. So uh, that was pretty cool for the guys. They were really excited. They worked really hard on that. Um, but. You know, obviously, uh, there's areas for improvement, and we'll look at those things and what, what, keep on working. What does a win do overall? Just to be one and one, have a win, get to go home for the home opener now, just the morale, momentum, everything. How does it feel to get a win? We, we accomplished our mission this week. We do want to know, and, and so again, it, it started. Uh, it started on Sunday when we got back, and we went and flipped the switch, and the staff did a really good job. Um, not just the coaches, but the trainers, the, the strength staff, everybody involved to get the team ready uh, to play. I mean, the guys were pretty sore on Monday, but they fought through it. And Tuesday, they, they looked even better. And then Wednesday, they looked even better. So I'm really proud overall and just really uh, thankful for uh, the staff's effort and obviously the players, uh, you know, and the amount of work and enthusiasm they had this week. There was a lot. You mentioned the trail. Uh